Enjoy your weekly personal Mormon Times print edition delivered to your doorstep. Subscribe today at mormontimes.com. He was first called as a missionary, then a mission president. But Brother Randy Bott's missionary service didn't stop there. In fact, thousands of missionaries worldwide have heard his teachings and have felt the impact of his testimony. Brooke Walker has his story. Hey man, you ready for that foot race? His pace matches his passion. Because I've been practicing up, I'll bet I can take you. <laughs> it carries a contagious energy that spreads quickly through a classroom. It's probably been my, my favorite religion class I've taken. It's always cracking jokes and making like things that would usually seem like heavy, um, a lot lighter and a lot easier to understand. It's his remarkable recall of scripture and doctrine, paired with his direct approach, quick wit, and positive perspective that makes Randy Bott one of the most popular religion professors on the campus of Brigham Young University. But Bott is quick to pass credit to the Spirit for speaking to the hundreds and hundreds of prospective missionaries he teaches each year in his okay, Sharing the Gospel the course. The for Brother Bott, as he's known, it's his love for the Gospel that fuels his lessons. His love for the students fuels his life. I see them as, as sons and daughters of God and as, as my brothers and sisters and somebody that I'm uh, willing to sacrifice my life for. You could say it was his own mission as a young 19-year-old man that paved his path. That's when it dawned on me that I knew that I knew that the gospel is true. It was also on his mission, Brother Bott began to glean and grasp the words of the scriptures in an almost instinctive way. One evening we were having a, a dinner with a, an investigator and uh, he turned to me and he said, do you think Satan can read your mind? And I had just that day read Doctrine and Covenants section 6 and verse 16, where the Lord says, I tell you these things that thou mayest know that there is none only save God that knows the thoughts and intents of your heart. So I said to him, no, I can't. And he said, how do you know that? And so I told him, and he looked at me like, wow. And then he told in Samoa, and this woman, she looked at me like, wow. And it was so, uh, so satisfying that uh, from that time on, every time somebody asked me a question, I was trying to document it with a scripture. And that's how I got started. According to Brother Bott, the scriptures hold many solutions for his students. Probably 95% of the questions that are asked, I'll answer with the scripture. And are you ever stumped? Are you ever standing there thinking, I know this verse, I know this chapter, or does it just come to you after years of study? you got to believe the scriptures. Now in section 84, verse 85, he says, you treasure up continually the words of life, and it will be given you in the very hour that you need it. And section 100, verses 5 through 8, says in the very moment that you need it, it will come back to you. So I'm standing there ready to open my mouth and saying, uh, I don't think I know the answer to this, and it's there. After being called as a mission president in Fresno, California, coming to teach at BYU was a move he didn't anticipate. When President Hinckley called us as a mission president, uh, he told us he would like us to impact the way that missionary work was done in the California Fresno Mission. And then when uh, the Dean of Religious Education invited me to come here, he says, I'd like you to uh, see if you can make an impact on the way that missionary work is done worldwide. And that's what he has done for a total of 40 years. I just wish I could take the testimony I've got and infuse it into the lives of these kids, as young as they are. If I had started younger and been more diligent, more serious, I just wonder where I'd be. And if I could do that to them, A great teacher and Brooke joins us now he seems not only a loving man but it seems like the students love him in return he is so loved and I know Kathy as journalists are supposed to remain impartial but I'm going to admit my bias up front if I can I actually had him as a freshman at BYU I took his sharing the gospel class so I can say from personal experience what an impact he has on the students I still to this day will remember you know teachings that he shared or testimonies that he shared through that class and I'm very grateful for what I learned
Can't we all aspire to be the one who can just rattle off a scripture oh, when somebody you know, has a imagine? question? That would be nice. It's a gift. You know, I think great teachers are those who are truly invested in their students, and it seems like he was exactly that way, or is exactly that way. Absolutely. At the beginning of every class, the first 10 minutes, he allows the students to ask questions of him, any question, any gospel-related question, which is so helpful for these young kids as they're preparing for their own missions. In addition, he spends dozens of hours each week responding to emails. I mean, from students, from even their parents. He says he's, he answers some somewhere from three to 4,000 emails a year. So very invested in their needs and their questions, trying to make these kids the best missionaries and the best Latter-day Saints that, that they can be. With all that you learned from him in the one class you took, what, what do you take away most from him? What has inspired you the most? I would say probably two things. Number one, his 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 positive approach. He's so positive about the gospel. I think a lot of times it's easy to get wrapped up in what we could do as Latter-day Saints, which is important to, you, you know, right, uh -huh. right yeah. and what we're maybe not doing well. But he punches home the positive and empowers these kids with, with the testimony and the belief that they can do it. Also, just his passion. It's contagious. You know, he's teaching future missionaries, so I think that's so helpful. I didn't serve a full-time mission myself, but I left that class thinking, I want to share my testimony. I want to share it. So very, very passionate about what he does. That's great. Aren't we grateful for good teachers? Mm -hmm. Brooke, Absolutely. thanks so much. Thanks, Appreciate Kathy. it. Coming up next, a rare look at video of President David O. McKay. God is a loving father and just and desires the salvation of all his family. We share his comments as we talk about the history of the Los Angeles Temple. But first, here's a look at some of our missionaries serving around the world. If you'd like to share a picture of a missionary you know, please send it to mormontimes at ksl.com. Because I have been given much, I too must give. 